화장실에 어디에요? 화장실에 어디에요? What does this sentence mean? If you notice, the word in red letter is 화장실. Because today, on one Korean word a day, we're going to study 화장실. Let's start. Learn Korean one word at a time only here at Day Hangul. Word number 233. 화장실. This is pronounced as a three syllable word. The first syllable is Hua, second syllable is Chang, and the third syllable is Shil. Pronounce it with me. Hwajangshil. Hwajangshil. The Korean term Hwajangshil is simply the Korean noun for bathroom. Again, this is the term for bathroom. Therefore, we could also use this to pertain to a restroom. Now let's study how to write Hwajangshil in Hangul. Hwajangshil is composed of three syllables and let's go through each of the syllable. First, to be able to write Hwa in Hangul, we need to draw first a Hiu character, followed by the O character, followed by the A character. And if you would notice, the Hwa sound is formed by the combination of the O and A character. So that's Hwa. For the second syllable, Zhang, we need to draw first a Jiut character, followed by an A character, followed by an Eon character. And then for the last syllable, Shil, we need to draw first a Siot character, followed by an E character, followed by a real character. And then we just need to combine all this to form the hangul of the word Hua Zhang Shil. Now let's try to look into this example English sentence. It says, where is the restroom? Or where is the bathroom? The Korean translation of this is Hua Zhang Shil Yi Odieyo which is the sentence presented at the beginning of this video. So the Korean translation of the sentence could be divided into two. Wajangshil or Dieyo. Wajangshil is our word for today, which means bathroom. And Odieyo is used to ask where. So when we say Wajangshil or Dieyo, it means where is the bathroom. And by the way, there is a suffix E on the sentence itself, it says Wajang Shili O Dieyo. And the E part is just added to the bathroom to indicate that this is the subject of the sentence. Again, Wajang Shili O Dieyo means where is the bathroom. And with that, you've just learned Wajang Shil. Now let's proceed to the previous 10 words recap. As of now, the previous 10 words are words number 223 to 232. But don't forget our word for today, word number 233, which means bathroom. Word number 232 is Chorop Hata. This is a root verb which means to graduate. Word number 231 is nyon, which means year. Word number 230 is hyogi, which means here. Word number 229 is hu, which means after. Word number 228 is tone, which means before or formally. Word number 227 is pun, which means minute. Word number 226 is she, which means hour. Word number 225 is dal, which means month. Word number 224 is two, which means week.
And the last for our review, word number 223, Dutta, which means to hear or listen. Congrats! Learn Korean one word at a time, only here at Tehango. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more Korean words.